I can definitively say of all the isekais we're watching right now, minus Reaser, we're talking just seasonal animes, which is not much competition. This is way better. The isekai Shikaku is on a level. Last episode, it started to get really real, right? Like a serious plot is developing, other worlders are actually the bad people, and Sensei, what is his power? Bro is out here. <laughs> Trump's the strongest right-hand man, ready to deport these goddamn immigrants. They're not sending their best people, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -mm. Them isekai jeans, man? Nah. They're a bunch of drug dealers and terrorists, man. And Sensei, basically, this is the way I see it unfolding. And like, it's super hype. The whole formula is basically this. Sensei needs to be motivated. He needs to be inspired to write. And in order to do that, he will encounter a different situation through other characters, antagonists, and get to hear about their story. And as doing so, he gets inspired and writes the story. And then I'm not sure exactly how the book powers activate, you know, the one where he banishes them and sends them back to the old world. But basically the formula is going to be this, right? We're going to go around, try to figure out other people's stories and the more depressing and the more like, you know, um, fucked up it is, the more sense he has fun. And I think it's actually such a good way to do storytelling. It's so meta, right? It's a story Storyteller doing storytelling. Now, after we defeated the hero guy, what's gonna happen now? Well, the main threat is the other worlder that's posing as the demon lord's throne right now. The demon lord's daughter is out on the loose as well. But we also have to go through three separate different churches to check if Sachan was there or not, right? Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> This is episode four. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> we gotta play episode five. What am I doing? You know what? Fuck it. We're gonna play the second one second. Fuck it. No, you know what? We're already at episode four. I'm gonna replay my favorite section. Fuck it. I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna play my favorite section here. And my favorite section is when the soundtrack. It's, it's this part. This, is, this soundtrack that plays here is so peak. Listen. Wait for it. Wait, 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 wait. This soundtrack is so good. Sensei's theme. This played once, I think, against uh, the Demon Lord's daughter as well. That shit was so hype. This soundtrack. This soundtrack is pretty much half the reason why this scene is so good. Like, straight up, the soundtrack is so hard carrying. <laughs> Suicide Riz! <laughs> Alright, I think we got the point. I think we got the point. Let's go to Isekai Shikaku episode 5. The different spawn points, right? Who's talking? Another <laughs> Alcoholic, elf, all right, wolf, all right, hello, hello, hello. What do you mean? What's going on? <laughs> Classic elf uh, being racist to dwarves. It's, that's never gonna just, you know, go away. That's always gonna happen in, you know, these fantasy shows. That's right, they're stinky, they're sweaty, they're short, right? That's the whole prejudice against the dwarves that we even see in Wistoria right now, remember? Not racist, species. A goblin outranks all the elves here. First to reach Archbishop title, Sir Goblin. Holy shit. Oh, like you! <laughs> no, I think Goblin is totally right, bro. This dude is just a drunk, alcoholic fucking species right now. I think Mr. Goblin is on point. 
女王と民たちの信仰のたじいさんだなミラー席かみな着席してくれみな多忙なところ呼び立てして悪かった Basically, these are all the different、uh, priests and archbishops and blah blah blah. But this is supposed to be Annette, but Annette left her role, right? So, absent spot just for Annette. Oh. 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 ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがと
like people graduate and they, no one can get jobs because everyone's stopping and like no one and, and no one can even get like part-time jobs or like the kids can't even get jobs because like all the immigrants have basically so he, complete off tangent the government will basically subsidize up to 70 percent of the minimum wage if you're hiring immigrant workers so corporations like tim hortons mcdonald's and whatnot they usually only have immigrant workers because now the employers and the governments are in it together where yeah they'll subsidize that shit and they don't have to pay the full fee so it's they're paying minimum wage but they don't even pay the full bulk because against the government is subsidizing that shit it's fucked up it is so beyond cruel and like the locals here all the kids growing up like they cannot even get a job anymore because everything is locked out this country is going down the fucking shithole and now we are now <laughs> we're about to elect a guy named pierre polivier out which is might not it's better in trudeau but like anytime bad shit happens and you have a populist come up someone charismatic and charming enough to basically say like we're gonna fix all the bad shit that's happening usually that's like the start of fascism or like dictatorship but i don't think it's gonna go that way but right now we are cooked we are fucking cooked and ugh, just such a fucking shame what canada has turned into man lamau you live in canada bro all right walt 193 where the fuck do you live in motherfucker come on where do you live in right now Name your country of residence right now, Walt193, or I'm going to fucking ban your ass in the next 10 seconds. You better type where you're from right now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. I'm going to pause there. Just, just give me your country of origin. 4, 3, 2, 1. Come on, bro. You could at least fucking type your country of origin, bro. You going to talk shit? Come on. Come on. Kenya, bro? You really living in a fucking... No, no, there's no way. You are unironically shitting on someone living in Canada when you live in Kenya right now. Like, you can't... You, you gotta be trolling right now. You, you gotta be trolling. You're baiting. You're baiting. I don't believe you. You don't live in Kenya. You're trying to get some kind of gotcha moment of me trying to see me. Nah, fuck you. Fuck you. Regard... <sighs> I'm gonna time this guy out. And you guys would think I'm going to be racist. It's not because he's from Kenya. It's not because the goblin is an archbishop, okay? It's, it's nothing about that. I am not racist or specious, okay? <laughs> nothing wrong with Kenya. I just, I just wanted to... See, I wanted him to say United States. And I'd be like, well, at least my kids aren't going to school every day thinking they're going to get fucking shot or something. <laughs> okay, so this is the guy that was in the throne before, right? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. That's a dra- That's not the same red dragon from the Demon Lord's daughter, right? Because what color was that dragon? It was also red. Maybe there's a- like, I don't know. They're like family dragons, but seven other worlders who defeated the Wrathful Dark Lord, okay? So basically, that is the hole in the chest, right? This is the Mao. He has a hole in his chest and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna assume that this guy on the far left of the armor is like the leader. Or maybe the guy on the far right, who knows. And I wonder if Sachan is one of these characters. What color is Sachan's hair again? Could this be Sachan here? Could this be Sachan over here? I'm just basing it on her hairstyle. But how the fuck is she? She what? She, she, she speed ran that shit. Unless the passage of time of being, you know, summoned here is different. Because like... How the fuck did you just join that party and already beat them, huh? I, I, I don't know, but, but it, this one does look like Sachan, right? I mean, even her clothing, right? Her hairstyle, mm, I don't know. No. Which means, no. only one. Pope sounds very stupid and naive. Still haven't seen this Pope person yet. Fuck it. What happened in the Bible when this shit happened? Uh, a massive flood happened, right? And there was a Noah's Ark or something. Fuck it, flood this entire place. Pope, do it. If you got the power, flood this entire place. Right. Now, here's a conspiracy theory. What if the Pope planned this? What if the Pope genuinely understood that Isekai other world was a trash and he used this as an advantage to create a rift amongst church? What? Why? 
in order to enact his new utopia? I don't know. I, maybe, maybe the Pope is in on it. Wandelia, that's right. Valderia, that's her daughter of the wrathful dark demon lord who disappeared from his castle. And like, her story is probably so tragic that it's gonna inspire Sensei the most to like write something, right? Because like, the more depressing, the more sad. The story is, like, the more Sensei gets this thrill, right? War against the other worlders. Wait, 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 wait. I thought the Seven Fallen Angels was... A, like a metaphor of the seven other worlders that defeated the demon lord. During the passage where there was seven archangels that, that fell and became seven fallen angels, those are just the other worlders because the Pope thought that there were literal angels coming from the heavens to save, right? But he's saying the seven fallen angels, fallen other worlders, these are two separate entities right now. Why the fuck is he making it seem like the fallen angels are different from the other worlders? The Seven Fallen Angels, aka Fallen Other Worlders, I can understand that part in the Dark Lord's Daughter. So I'm just gonna straight up still think there's only seven other worlders and there is no fucking Fallen Angels. That's simply just a metaphor them. Sensei! If only there was a character in here whose power was to deport these goddamn immigrants from fucking taking her. It's Sensei. The Sensei. Give Sensei all the resources, then he'll take them out one by one. Yisha, come on. You saw the power. Yep. That's right! Send them back to where they come from! Pope? Your eminence! This is Dio's voice actor, right? More of a reason to believe that he is a betrayer right now. I feel like this is the Pope's plans. I don't trust the Pope. I don't trust this motherfucker at all. And like, think about this. Here's another coincidence which could, you know, fuel my conspiracy theory that the Pope is a traitor. Why did the Pope just show up? What happened before he showed up? Isha was mentioning about the deportation power. And as soon as Isha mentioned the solution to this problem that the Pope may be colluding in, he shows up. And then he's like, oh, can I know more about the deportation skill? Right? I, I just... Like something is off here, man. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Oh, Demon Lord Castle. Clayman Castle. Sachan? It's gotta be Sachan, bro. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, we see the red band. Yep. The du dual suicide. Remember? Remember? The, 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 the red rip? Yep, it's her. That's her. That's her. That's her. <laughs> you know, that'd be funny. <laughs> I just thought of the most unhinged power for Sachan. Are you ready? You're not ready for this. <laughs> so if we came in together, right? If, if Sensei's power is deporting immigrants, what is Sachan's... And, and now that no more Isekai characters are about to come in, are you, are you following my line of thinking? Are you, are you picking up what I'm putting down? Sachan's power... Is the exact opposite where he where she smuggles in illegal immigrants. Yup. Yup. I'm, I'm saying it right now, bro. They need more people to come in and fight for their cause. Yo, they she gonna smuggle them immigrants in, bro. <laughs> oh, there's the wine, the Demon Lord Castle wine, bro. They're all splitting? So maybe this guy is the main leader, right? 
I mean, he is, he does have the stereotypical wine glass in a fucking Demon Lord castle. Like, he suits the role so well, right? <laughs> it's just that he doesn't have Dio's voice actor right now, but like, this is the most stereotypical Demon Lord shit. <laughs> this fucking wine glass, as they look out the fucking window and a strike of lightning every time. Like, I'm just gonna assume he's the leader here. <laughs> Nice CGI lightning animation. It actually looks pretty good. Fluid. They've scattered to the different borders of the world. Y'all, we, we, we're not, we're, we're never beating the fucking... <laughs> this whole fucking anime has just turned into a meme of just fucking immigration and deporting. Motherfuckers are hopping borders now, bro. Seven motherfuckers, all, all of them are going to a different place and just hopping their borders and fucking getting in, bro. You do. That's the other kid from the opening, right? This kid must be integral to our team. New team member acquired. We got a show to enjoy. This kid's hustling, bro. That's a pretty business. Uh, that's a pretty smart business model. I think she just got scammed. He's definitely hustling her right now. Right. Dead man. Yeah. <laughs> What would you say? Vertigris. Heroes don't don't have faces that look like the Vertigris on a sword. What is a Vertigris? Vertigris a noun, a green or greenish blue poisonous pigment resulting in the action of acetic acid on copper. Basically he just looks like he's dying right now. Got it. He's not going to show up. What reason would he have to then follow up when you're random foreigners in this town? You just got scammed so hard. You should have, you could have at least had some sort of bargaining chip where it's like, you know what? Until we meet back, like I'm going to have something of your possession or we only pay like 30% up front until the actual mercenary is given. Then we give the rest or something like, what the fuck? Annette, bro, come on. <laughs> This will be funny though. If the kid joins our party, having the kid be punished and drag the coffin. Oh, child labor. Let's fucking go. She has no clue. Yep, that boy won't be returning. Sensei already knew. <laughs> The voice acting is supreme from both Annette and Tama right now. Just a bit, yeah. <laughs> what would Felt say here? The people of the slums in Rezero would say, Live strong, brother. Skill issue. We're gonna correct this kid today then? Yeah. <sighs> 
そんな大層な人が本当にいるんなら Heroes don't exist, man. I'm sorry. No one is gonna save you other than yourself. Don't be deluded into someone's gonna fucking save you like it's a fucking fantasy story. But then again, this is a fantasy story. And Sensei might be that hero. Whoa! Sensei! <laughs> Never mind. Not Sensei. Kidnapping time. It's time to kidnap. Literally kidnap. <laughs> Napping a kid, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna feel bad about these thugs taking this kid. But the kid was scamming too, but we gotta save the kid. Sensei's gotta show up and save the kid and be a hero right now. It's a thick ass boy. <laughs> oh no, what are you gonna do to him? <laughs> good bluff, good bluff! <laughs> okay, I don't know what this guy's power is gonna be. Maybe something wind related because it's like sparking green. The middle guy is just like a magical crossbow user, and the one on the left. Basically, just arm him at hockey. Sensei! You know why I did this? Because I want to actually count the fucking thing down. Motherfucker. That was five seconds. How can you go five? Four. Let it rip! Sensei! I should have seen this coming. Of course! How do we counter the guy with the full armor? Just fucking use the crossbow on him. Sensei! Hype! <laughs> yes, that is an arrow in the knee fucking Skyrim joke, I forgot. And, and, bro, what the fuck is his power? Go to analyze! Go to analyze! What are you analyzing? He can deport us, Aiki! Oh no! どうしたいやつの天使だいや、1HP。なんだって? <laughs> Don't threaten me with a good time. Finally, you're gonna kill me? Let's go! Okay, this explains more about how last episode, his, like he got bitten by that wolf, remember? But then the poison activated and he died. But it's like, you have only one HP, how did you survive those hits, right? That never made sense to me. But now it's looking like when he gets into it, when he realizes that, oh shit, I'm gonna finally die, hype, let's go. His vitality signs go up. So it's not actually one HP. That makes a lot more sense than how he took all those hits. Shoot me then. <laughs> right over here, come on. Hit me in the heart. I think they're grossed out. <laughs> they're grossed out, bro. <laughs> He's a pervert? I, mean, I could see that, yeah, maybe. Bro, he just intimidated them. Not really. Oh, the soundtrack, the soundtrack! So peak, sensei theme! Yeah. Our headcanon is Otto is always following around somewhere, just, just playing his fucking instrument. Every fucking time. 
君はまだ少年大人になるにはす I think he's inspired the kids realize that adults aren't so bad or other worlders aren't You're just gonna leave. <laughs> Classic sensei. <laughs> I left the kid there tied down. <laughs> okay. Yo, what about the kid? What about the kid? I hung out with the kid. That's kind of sus. <laughs> oh, the kid! And he still has that sword. I wonder what that sword is from. Maybe his dad. But he it was the one that he was kind of like opening up for a bit, right? Interesting. But he's gonna join our party now, right? Alright, kid. Drag Sensei 2. <laughs> You actually know one? You are you're the valid hero? Wait, what do you what do you mean? Hold up. Huh? Is the implication that he's a valiant hero? Or the fact that there's someone else out there and we're gonna return the sword to the valiant warrior? I I'm not really sure. Probably just himself, right? Here we go. Trainee swordsman near joins the party. Post credit scene, let's go. Alright. Kid's not pull- No! I wanted to see the kid! Just pull the thing! I- The child labor's hilarious to me. That's just every day. Living is suffering. Yeah, welcome to the party, kid. First day? You're gonna hear that a lot. それよりにや、そろそろ交代まで smuggle an immigrant in here? The border gate patrol. I, I don't know, bro. We might, we might we might get fucking kicked out of here, bro. <laughs> Illegal aliens. <laughs> ah shit! You got me. That's right. I am an immigrant. <laughs> How did you know? Huh? Oh, interesting. But they seem to be more upset at like Tama, right? The first reaction was off of Tama first. Well, from this angle it looked like. I'm not I'm not really sure. Maybe it's the fact that they were able to realize that Sensei is an other world during their arrested. I don't know. Maybe it's Tama's fault, maybe it's Sensei. Maybe it's just whatever's going on in inside, you know, Tama village right now that we don't know about. <laughs> Them illegal immigrants are locked up now. Yo, the familiar is being used as like a sleeping pillow. I didn't realize you could just do that too. Merosu, let's go. Merosu looks very comfy. There's no gods? I mean, technically, yeah. I, I, well, the Pope is like the closest thing to a god right now, but... Who really knows? And that's today's episode where we go out from deporting an immigrant into being the illegal immigrant here and getting locked up in a cell, man. Today's episode was very fun. It was very fun because of just like the themes of this sandwich is so fun to talk about, man. So what happened? So basically, there's these different priests and different, you know, um, people that's supposed to, you know, guide other worlders at different, you know, temples, right? So we meet everyone new. I think that goblin guy is still a bit sus. Maybe I'm being specious, man, but something about him threw me off and maybe it's just my prejudice against goblins, but the way he spoke in such a gentle tone, I'm not fucking buying it. But you know what I'm not buying either? The Pope. The Pope most likely is in on it with the other worlders for whatever reason. I'm not sure. Like, as soon as Yisha mentioned the solution to getting rid of these illegal immigrants, the Pope fucking shows up and wants more information. 
it just doesn't really feel right. Now, Sachan has finally been confirmed to be in the party of the seven that defeated the Demon Lord, but how did Sachan immediately join that team and get there so fast? It's almost sounds like she was already here before Sensei, right? Because the, if the passage of time is flowing the same period of when he got summoned and she got summoned, then there's no fucking shot. It's way too quick, right? Wonder what Sachan's power is. I'm just gonna stick with the fact that she can uh, smuggle illegal immigrants and the exact opposite of what Sensei's power is. Today, we get a new character named Nier, and I guess the most important thing about him is the sword on his back and what that kind of means. And we know that Sensei also, thanks to God and Rise, when he gets riled up because someone's trying to kill him, his HP goes up. Is that specific to his gift? I'm not too sure. And that's about it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlists for more content, and until next time, take care.